Good morning, everybody. I'm Cody Alexander. I'm the union president for United Steelworkers Local 9548, which represents the 450 sisters and brothers that work for Algoma Tubes in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. The date today is uh, February 26, 2022. I'm just doing a quick video this morning because we were doing our weekly research on our company and um, want, thought it was important that we do a little bit of a recap here on uh, Paulo Roca, our CEO and chairman. So we're going to uh, share the screen here to his Wikipedia page. And uh, it's short and sweet. We'll just let everybody get an understanding of who he is. So as you can see, that's uh, Paulo. Uh, he was born in 1952, which makes him 69. And he is an Argentine Italian businessman and CEO of the Tekin Group, which holds Tenarius, Ternium, and other companies that operate in the engineering, construction, and energy sectors. He is also the chairman and CEO of Tenaris and chairman of Tenarium. Uh, his early life, uh, he was born in Milan, Italy, and his family obviously is the uh, founders of this industrial group, Tekinton Tenaris. Uh, he earned a degree in political science and uh, pursued an MBA uh, in the Harvard Business School. Uh, interestingly enough, his career, uh, he served as the executive director to the World Bank. That I did not know until today. Uh, in 85, uh, Paulo began his career at King Group as assistant to the chairman of the board of directors. In 1990, he assumed uh, as executive vice president of Sudurka. Tekint, um, since 2002, he is the CEO of Tenaris and Tekint. In addition, he is the chairman of the board of directors of Tamza and of the board of directors of Ternium and director of the Tekint Financial Corporation. Ropa led Tekint in a series of acquisitions in Latin America, around the world, and which led to the development of operations in more than 20 countries, uh, one of them being us, obviously. Uh, one minor scandal here was the notebook scandal, which was, uh, he was cleared in 2019. It's an interesting story. Uh, some of his uh, employees were apparently allegedly making bribes uh, as far as the operations in Venezuela, and uh, they tried pinning it back on our CEO. And uh, thankfully, uh, there was no evidence linking him to the bribery and the Argentinian judge, uh, federal judge threw it out. Uh, he has various uh, boards and awards, uh, if anybody wants to review them. Uh, interesting stuff anyways. Now, um, for us, Paulo's uh, been an excellent CEO for our company and he's uh, visited our mill multiple times. One of the things that we find uh, most important about Roka's vision is how he listed in the Tenaris Quality Health and Safety and Environment Policy. Now, as many you know, uh, Tenaris policies are enforceable um, through our grievance procedure, but not only that, through their compliance line, which we'll share the link for at the bottom, and we'll do a separate video on how to do reporting through the compliance line. Uh, but uh, we'll do a quick recap here. This policy has to be posted in all pulpits, all offices, lunchrooms, in every part of our facility, because this is basically a summary of the governance of our company. And for myself, ever since I've worked here, and I believe the first one may have come out in 2006, don't quote me on that, but I've always said that this is a company that I wanna work at when I read this document. And one of the understandings that we always had as the union is that not only did our CEO, Mr. Rolka, create this policy that summarizes everything, but each point in this policy can be enforced through the documents in the IDM, which contains all the corporate policies, which are enforceable. So let's just do a quick recap here. It goes quality, health, safety, and environment policy. Tenaris aims to achieve the highest standards of quality, health, safety, and environment, incorporating the principles of sustainable development throughout its worldwide business. Tenaris identifies the health and safety of its employees, contractors, and visitors the satisfaction of its customers, the protection of the environment, and the development of the communities where it has operations as integrated key drivers of its business. The entire organization is oriented towards achieving these goals openly and transparently. Quality health, safety, and environment management and risk assessment fundamentals are into integrated in all business processes. Management is responsible and accountable for achieving excellence in quality, health, safety, and environmental performance for successful business results. Tenaris is committed to training all its employees in the appropriate use of its quality, health, safety, and environment management systems, strengthening its management through updating of professional and managerial skills, 
fostering diversity, encouraging the consultation and participation of workers in issues related to health and safety, emphasizing employee evaluation and motivation and complying with the ethical principles established in its code of conduct. Now in the blue, it says nothing is more important than the health and safety of everyone who works for us and uses our products. All injuries and work-related illnesses can and must be prevented. We are committed to the elimination of hazards and substantial reduction of health and safety risks. Working safely is a condition of employment. Now into the green. Quality is our main competitive advantage. Requirements of our customers must be consistently satisfied. Differentiation in, is achieved through operational excellence, logistic efficiency, and development of innovative and reliable technologies, processes, products, and services. We are committed to developing a long-term sustainable business, preventing pollution and minimizing the environmental impact of our operations and products, pursuing the improvement of natural resources and energy efficiency. Teneris recognizes the importance of implementing this policy throughout its quality, health and safety and environment management systems, covering the entire supply chain from suppliers to customers and the proper and efficient use of its products in accordance with their agreed specifications. Teneris commits to comply with applicable legal requirements and all other requirements relating to quality, health, safety, and environment issues to which it subscribes. Teneris con communicates this policy throughout its organization, trains its employees in the appropriate use of its quality, health, safety, and environment management systems, and engages them in the regular setting, measuring, and revision of objectives. Teneris undertakes to keep this policy updated and implement and maintain its management system and continuously improve its quality, health, safety, and environment performance. And as you can see, it is signed by our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Paulo Roca. One of the things we'd like everybody to take away from this video today is questioning your supervisor as to where you find the policies related to your position and to your job. Now, we all know that these policies are found on the IDM, which is the Internal Document Management System. And that is the system where Mr. Roca has ensured that all the policies that he summarized in the Quality, Health and Safety and Environment Policy are there for employee consumption. Inquire with your supervisor as to how you access the IDM. Everybody needs to have access to this. How do you access it? How do you access your on-the-job training? How do you access your lockouts? How do you access the pipe lift amounts and all the various policies and control documents that are required to do your job? Lastly, we just want to say to everybody to make sure that you continue to work safe. We've had a good month as far as uh, January, as everybody knows, and it looks like February is on track to be a not bad month for any major injuries as well. We need to keep this up. We need to ensure that if there's any unsafe work that we are not doing it. There, there shouldn't be any pressure on any of you besides pressure to work safely. When it comes to production, production must be a second to work in safely. Always remember that we have the stop work policy. All you have to do is raise your hand and stop work. If you need the union's assistance in any safety issues, please contact us. We love coming in there and fixing safety problems. It's something we strive at. It's never a bother. What we do not want is anyone getting hurt in our membership? This is so important to us. And we believe that it is also so important to our chairman, Mr. Roca. And with that, everybody, we wanna say have a great weekend and we'll see you all soon and be safe and look out for each other. That's so important when you're at work is we need to keep an eye on each other. Be safe, everybody. Solidarity.